in this video, I'm gonna chat about checking features with the Star Probe. So we're gonna be coming at features at different angles. We have to program it a little bit differently. So again, I'm gonna be at the machine without a CAD model. So this is all gonna be taking features with the probe. Now, some of the things we wanna watch out for when you're using the Star Probe, you gotta tell the machine exactly which stylus you're using before you probe the feature. Now you can change it later, but it's easier if you do everything beforehand or else the machine literally won't know which stylus you're using and it'll crash. The next thing, we gotta make sure our clearance planes are correct. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to get your clearance planes to go the opposite of the way you took the feature so it'll clear the part. Now, if you have a bunch of uh, fixtures or other parts on the table, you might have to do some other things, but this is a good system for an open setup like this where we just have a single part. So let's dive right in. I've got my part right here. I've already done an alignment. So I took these two planes and made a, a symmetric plane in the middle, took two points here, and then took this top plane. So a couple points on each. So that handles our alignment. No big deal there. So I've got my star probe already loaded up in the machine. We can see it right here. So we've got, I've named it. Going this direction is X minus, this direction is X plus, Y plus, and Y minus going toward me, okay? So the important thing here is in this drop down, you wanna select the stylus you're using again before you probe the feature. So we'll check the feature on the right side of the part here. So I'm gonna use the X minus probe. If you're unsure about which probe it is, just open up the stoplight and the probe you're using will be lit up in red, okay? So I got the probe, I'm gonna go over here. And again, you can use, as long as you've told the computer which stylus you're using, you can use the F11 macro even if the probe is sideways. So I'm gonna do F11, hit return, and it'll do the four point macro for me right here, okay? So we're happy with that. Uh, probing points are fine with me right now. I'm gonna hit okay. Now, if you notice our clearance plane group is Z plus, we're gonna change that to X plus. So CP plus X. That way, before and after it's probed, it'll not smash into the part. Let's put it that way, okay? So I'm gonna drive out of here. I'm gonna go up and around the part. I'll come back down. Now this is important, like I mentioned, gotta come up here and change this to X plus. And you'll notice now number three is lit up on the stoplight and now we can do another F11 macro. If you didn't change it to X plus, it's gonna think you're probing with X minus and the, the program will get real wacky, okay? So I'm gonna come in here, same idea. Again, I'm gonna get in the middle of the feature, F11, hit return. And it's gonna take those four points automatically. Now the downside to the four point macro is it gives you, you know, obviously points and your strategy. It's really easy to go in there and change that to a circle path afterwards. So, you know, if, if it doesn't save you time, don't use it. But if it does, you know, you can always just change it to a circle path later. I'm gonna hit okay there. Again, I'm gonna change this clearance plane. This time I want it to be uh, clearance plane negative X. I want it to go that way when it's done probing, okay? Hit OK there. Now, say this part, these two coaxial uh, features are probably the datum for the part. Again, I don't have a drawing for this part, but I'd imagine that's the most important feature. We can use those two circles we just made and make a cylinder out of it. So the way we do that, I'll go to Features, Cylinder, I'll double click. I'm gonna go up here to Recall Feature Points. So what it's gonna do is use the points from those two circles we made to create a cylinder. Now there's more than one way to do this, but this is one way, okay? So recall feature points. I'm gonna 
control and select both of those circles and I hit OK and I can report the diameter for that feature. I'll add a realistic tolerance to it and hit OK. Right? So it's going to automatically calculate that and it will return uh, the diameter as a characteristic. Okay. So let's run the program and make sure you know I didn't crash the machine or anything. So I'll go to run. I've already done my alignment with this. So I'm going to use current alignment so we get right into the action. And it's going to come in here and take those points for those two features I just created. So this is a danger zone as always. When it's finishing one feature, you want to keep your hand on the speed wheel just in case you did something wrong. You can catch it before it smashes into something. So that's good. That's our uh, clearance plane X plus getting that thing out of the way and it'll come back across the part and come back in for the next feature. And after it's done, it should move straight out to the X minus clearance plane. Okay, so that's it for this video. That's one way to uh, use the star probe. Uh, we checked some coaxial features and we used uh, fe uh, recall feature points to make two circles into a cylinder. So again, with the star probe or anything with multiple stylus, select the stylus before you probe and check your clearance planes. If you have to, go and execute each feature before you run the full program so you don't get any surprises. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Check out the channel for more CMM and GD&T videos coming up soon.